hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution Part 2, it is today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking on the like button, and if you're not already, uh, but you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to hit subscribe. So, in the last episode, then, we basically got the park set up in the first island here. We've got a couple of dinos, so over here, we've got them, look, they're having a little chat away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Did you see it? Did you read about Deborah? Oh, I know. Wasn't it awful? Right, so they're there and having a little chat. And then over here we have our Ceratosaurus, uh, who's just, he's just kind of milling around. He's just doing what he's doing. Um, so here we've got our live bait feeder and our ground hedra herdy boar. So um, the, we completed whatever the first mission was, basically. And from what I can see, uh, the way I believe it works is that, um, if we look at our control room here, to open the next island, we need three stars on this island. Okay, and we can do that by having a look at, um, uh, where are you? Island navigation, there we go. You are here. And what we've done is we've completed the, um, the, the entertainment mission here. So there's a mission on each of the islands, I think, and that's kind of how it works. Um, creature does to raise into 1.5 stars. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Um, so what we could do is, I think once you've done one, it locks another on half or something. We have to restart the island to open them all of them, and eventually we open them all, and all, and, you know, it's all good. Uh, but at the moment, at least, we're going to carry on working on this with the uh, with this one here. Achieve a dinosaur rating of point uh, one point five stars. So to do that, I think we're going to have to look at getting some new dinos, basically. So let's uh, send our um, thingy out, uh, expedition sensor. Here it is. And uh, let's have a look and see if we can do a Triceratops. There we go. That's the one I want. I, I am a huge fan of the Triceratops. There's also some Triceratops over there as well. Let's have a look. What have we got there? The Ho I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one just yet. Um, Ceratosaurus. There we go. That can increase the dino we've got there. All right, but let's have a look. I think we could probably get away with a second Ceratosaurus. Let's have a look. This one is pretty happy about things, population and social. I know, social actually kind of happy on its own. But could definitely have another um, another dino in with it. Are they not just going to fight, though, and kick off? Territory should comprise of good-sized grassland with a small area of forest cover. Um, seem, yeah, seems like you've got what you need there. Um... Could maybe do with a bit more grass and a little less forest actually. So let's have a look at the terrain then, because that's something we haven't really looked at yet. Let's get rid of the uh have a bit of tree over here. And see if that makes you happier. Um in, okay, a bit neck and neck. Well, I'm happy with that though. Uh food and water levels are pretty good. And um so does this just happen as it's needed to? Feeders must be regular resupplied. It's got nine. There's nine, nine goats sat underneath there. Okay, let's have a look about our incubation. Uh, at the moment, they're the only two still that we can do. We need that. Um, we need that one to come back with either the Edmontosaurus or the Triceratops to increase our Dino rating. So I definitely think that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so they've got back. We've got some silver. We can flog um, Dracorex. They're new. Dracorex. Dracorex, I'm not too sure. Um, so we'll extract DNA from you, but most importantly, we've got our, t uh, our Triceratops, so we'll extract DNA there as well. While they're going there, let's maybe put something down for our guests, because they're pretty happy. Um, we're, we're earning money, but we've currently got um, not much really going on for them. So, guests, let's have a look. Emergency shelter, hotel, gift shop. Um, let's put down a gift shop. What What's this building again? You're the research center. What I would kind of like to do is get is move you, to be honest. But I'm not too sure we've actually got there. Like only one research center may be constructed per island. So can I can I just can I get rid of you? And then will it let me build another one? I'm gonna save just in case. Um, so let's save this as a let's play. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then we're gonna demolish it. And it's given us 300 grand. Okay, that sounds great. Sorry about the few people who were in there. I do apologize. Uh, but now we can go back to uh, operations. And it does let us put another one down. Okay, that's good. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and build one. Um, can we 
build one there? That would be really good if we could squeeze you in. It does look like we can. So that's good. Um, okay. We'll put you in there, our research centre. Because this we're going to try and turn into a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a main street of our, uh, eventually. Ah, our, our terror, Triceratops genome is ready as well. Um, how about paths? What have we got pathwise? We've got these wider paths. Um, normal path. Okay, so we've got cheap path, normal path narrow, normal path wide, fancy path narrow, and fancy path wide. I kind of like the idea of a bit of a fancy path um, here. Let's say, oh, this is a fancy path. It's got a thing on it. Oh, lovely. Uh, I don't know what those things are. They're things, and we're all about things. Okay, so um, space is demolish mode. No, delete is just de is demolish mode. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna risk messing everything up a little bit here, and we're gonna get rid of all of you, and then we're gonna come out of demolish mode. There we go, and we're gonna put the fancy path down. Okay. Um, Your park is nearing guest capacity. Oh, hey. well, that's good, I guess. Build a hotel so even more can stay. The more okay. guests in the park, the more money in the bank, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, the things have gone. Oh, no, they're back. Okay, cool. There we go. So we've got our funky path now. They just got like little little bins and banners and stuff. All right, that's cool. I'm all about that. All right, good. So there's that. Then let's go to. Guess and let's put our gift shop down if we can. Um, let's have a look. Gift shop kind of feels like it would work. Oh, there we go. It does. It does snap when it when it finds where it wants to be. Okay, so let's um, let's just place it down like that. There we go. Okay, what we might have to do is re readjust our uh, our bit of um, power here. That's a li little bit messy at the moment. Um, but I think that fossil center was done. So first of all, we need to keep remembering to make sure we send these guys out, isn't it? Because they just need to keep going and getting stuff. Um, so part of me thinks we should just send them back there again and get Dracorex and more Triceratops. Um, or Edmontosaurus. Wondersaurus is quite a cool herbivore one as well, isn't it? And Dracorex is as well, actually. So, yeah, let's go back there again. Because I want to kind of fill out the herbivore patch a bit, really. I want to get some more dinos in there. So, guest capacity, hotels, I'm not too worried about those just yet. Um, for now, let's get a Triceratops uh, hatching. If I were going to get a couple of them going. 60%, hopefully it's enough. Uh, modified genome. Uh, since the last episode, I had a little look at this. So, what we can do is we can add... Uh, different like uh, abilities to them by changing out the basic, um, the the basic DNA. So the idea in, in Jurassic World is that um, the 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 bits of DNA we don't have. Oh, thank you. It's going to tell us that we haven't got we've got enough space for people. That's fine. Okay, we we'll, might think about a hotel. Um, is filled in with frog DNA, and the problem is the frogs uh, were able to change sex, and that's what made them be able to uh, reproduce in the wild. And the idea here is that we can now change that frog DNA for other creatures. So here we can do, I don't know what that is, like some sort of stink bug, I guess. Um, but, you know, obviously it all, it's all locked behind um, us developing. So for the moment I'm going to leave it because every time we do one of these, the viability goes down. And the viability is what is, turns out to actually make them. And for now at least, we just kind of want dinosaurs to be made. So we're going to incubate two of those and hope they both work. There we go. And then hopefully we'll get a couple of uh, Triceratopses there. And what I'm also going to do is we're going to build a viewing station here that we can run a path down to from there. So let's have a look. Um, closures. Uh, viewing station. There's other types as well. Look, research required, research required. But for now, we'll just use this regular one here. And it kind of gives you an idea of where people are going to actually get to see. So there would probably be quite good, actually. Um... I don't really want to just move away from uh, from this thing, to be honest. Well, I mean, obviously, because this is already built for you in this level, I wouldn't have this towards the guest. I very much want like a front stage and backstage uh, concept going on with my parks, like uh, like you would in regular theme parks. So, you know, so all this sort of stuff 
down the front that looks nice that people can come and chill out and go to restaurants and stuff and then behind the scenes we have all these sort of more more uh, sciencey type buildings that uh, really should be out of the way um, because you know you've even got I mean you've got guests wandering down here which is kind of weird I guess I guess the, the the pathing AI is a little bit more vague in this it just sends them around the, the whole building like I said before I think it's more to do with um, how uh, how busy the park is as opposed to the actual guest needs uh, properly okay um, go to fossils what have we got a bit more triceratops we'll extract that and a bit more of the uh, dracorix one as well so we'll do those both of those hopefully the triceratopses we've got work triceratopses triceratopsi um paths let's put a narrow fancy path. I love the fact it's called fancy path. It's so much fun. Um, hopefully, what I'd like to do is go from here. Pathing system in this game is actually pretty good. I think um, it's actually quite quite impressing me. Uh, although it's kind of difficult to see what I want to do where these uh, where all these trees are. You know, I'd just like to join them up really. Whether I can or not, I don't know. I so said I can, but it looks like that. So we're going to have to have another go at that. Um, yeah, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe we have to go from this end. Because we get that kind of thing, which looks awful. So, hello. The show must go on. Incubate, hatch, and release at least two dinosaurs. Okay, I feel like we could release dinosaurs. We're about to do that, which is pretty good. Um, but first of all, let's just have another little go at this path. Oh, it's took me out of the path menu. That's rather irritating. So you need to go, you need to go, you need to go. There we go. Let's try that again. So fancy path as far as it can this way, and then we'll bring it round to here. What's that look like? I mean, can we do something like that then? Okay, there we go. Now, now, it, now it's meant to be like that. Uh, terrain. Oh yeah, look at that terrain. Wow, that's like city skylines level terrain. Okay, cool. Um, I've, again, like I said, you know, we eventually will move to more of a sandbox type of play, uh, but for now at least, we, we kind of uh, work with what we've got. Uh, it looks like this needs power. So we need to get a substation to it. So let's stick um, one of those down. Is that you? Yeah, okay, good. Um, okay, so we're pretty close to that one there. It's not quite good enough though, so we'll build it in though. That's fine. Put you in there, and then hopefully we can just go boop. There we go. That will get power to you, I think. How are we doing power-wise? Output is 60, unused is 1. But don't we have another one of those down here? Output is 60, unused is 50. Yeah, so... So power-wise, we're doing all right. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to open this gate. So is that hopefully the uh, trikes come straight through here. I've decided I'm going to call them trikes from now on. So there we go. That's open. And then we can click in here and we can release our first one. Here we go. Our first triceratops. How are we looking? How are we looking? Oh, I love that ever slight camera shake as they as they step down. Oh, she's a beauty. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little bit of a shake there, a little stretch. Isn't it weird that you've just come into existence? Okay. Oh no, it's doing well. So food and water is pretty low, but comfort grassland, forest, population and social seems all pretty good. I think when we release our second one. Uh, the social will be perfect on them, okay? Okay, don't let this go to your head, but that was some very impressive work on that car. Some very impressive work, thank you. Okay, so Savannah. Whoa. Oh, we got a thing for that. Here we go. Your rep is off the charts. Okay, so we got a thing. We got a uh, we got insight vision of your work and on and Islamantiseros. Okay, good. So they're going to come out as well. I like that how they kind of almost realize what this does. That's pretty good. So now we can close that. And there we go. All right, cool. I feel like we probably need a bit more food. Now we have uh, those two in there. So let's get some, uh, a couple of these. And what we're going to actually do is to place them a little bit closer to the viewing platform here. 
uh, so it's a little bit more fun for for people to kind of come and see the uh, see the, the old dinos. Come on, terrain too close to dinosaur. Oh, can you go away, please? Little ostrich thing. Off you pop, chop. Genuinely just standing there and hanging around. Can you go away? Okay. She's going. She's thinking about it. Oh, uh, 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 speeds changing in this game would be real. Oh, you, yeah, you're just going to rub it in now, aren't you? You are just trying to rub it in. All right, well, we'll maybe do that in a second then. A little awkward cow. Um, all right, people heading down here then, are they? Yeah, on this crazy-ass path. That's what we like. Okay. So that's um those two triceratopses have pumped uh dino rating up to point nine out of one and a half stars. So one and a half stars must be pretty tricky to get. Um we'll start naming these by the way. Naming suggestions in the comments. Um I'll I'll I will go through and name them at some point. Because I've just realised this viewing platform, like, it's kind of a crap place because there's just this huge hill here. Um in fact, let's have a look at terrain. Let's see if we can do a bit of terrain. Uh, landscaping. Are you even? Flatten, smooth. Let's no. Let's try flatten. Um. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. And then we'll and then smooth here a little, just to make it a bit more natural. There we go. So how are you, uh, little ladies, doing for grassland population social? Yeah, you're pretty happy still, aren't you? Okay. I'm pretty happy. Just needs this one to clear off, please. Roaming. Well, roam somewhere then. Thank you. She heard me. She's a good girl. Uh, okay, enclosure. Herbivore enclosure. Okay, so now we'll put one of these here. Sorry, that's just me. You know what I'm like. Trying to like, make things all look symmetrical and stuff like that. Okay, so now I have two of those. That should be enough. And you know what? We'll also get a little bit of water up here as well. Um, because then they can... Um, there we go, just a little bit. Um, now there's no deep, deep, or anything like that. I don't think. Um, water is as water does, so we'll just um, we'll just deal with it how it is. There we go. So we've got a bit of water there. There's a big lake over here that they can clear off to if people are, you know, they're going to be fed up with people watching. But for now, at least, uh, we've got some food and we've got some water up the top there for people to see. Yeah, we'll demolish that. Okay, so let's, um, we need to look at doing another spooky dude, I guess, another another carnivore to really increase our thing. Comfort and health is fine. Food is fine. So they're, they're, those are obviously just getting uh, 7 out of 10 there. They're just getting released as and when, I suppose. So we don't think we have anything we can make at the moment that is carnivorous, apart from a Ceratosaurus. We could, all, we could put another one of those in, but really... Um, I think we might have to look at, um, yeah, go on, we'll do another one of those. Let's do another one of those. And then, and also, we'll we'll make sure we put these separately, but I'd really like a Edmontosaurus as well, so let's, uh, let's see if we can send out an Expedition Centaur to somewhere where there's a Montosaurus. Is. Uh, oh, can I cancel that? I just clicked. No. Nope. I can't. Okay, so there's where we want to send them, but they've got to do that one first. Okay, good. Okay, they're going to get the Edmonton to... Uh, anyway, we have a sick dino, so we need to go and fix that. So I believe we do that from our ranger station? Uh, ranger team 1, add task. Uh, where are you? Who is poorly? Oh, over here, medicate. There we go, and then I suppose you can fill that up while you're at it. While you're out and about. Okay, good. So, we also have some dinos open. It's a Ceratosaurus. Um, so, let's open up the gate. And release the dino. And hopefully, she'll come through. Now, I think having two of these is okay. Oh, there's the goat. Look, goat did pretty well this time. Om. Om nom nom. Okay, this range is doing its job. Hoping it remembers to keep that door open and it doesn't come out of this door. A carnivore, yeah. I see. 
This time, a Ceratosaurus. There are two spines that run down its back, that run down its back. And, and a bladed horn on its horn head. head. Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone, or in a group. Okay, Cabot Fitch, you're awfully flippant considering what we're actually doing here. <laughs> um, there we go, and then we'll close gate. Disease outbreak control, no sources of common cold remain in the park. We've cured the common cold, ladies and gents. We have cured the common cold. So social. See, that should be fine then, I guess. Or are they just going to kick off on each other? Or do they only do they not kick off on their own kind? Yeah, they seem like they're fine. There's plenty of food and stuff. You know, social, is, it is literally just one or two of you. That's it. Population's not too bad. Uh, forest, grassland, conflict, water, food. Yeah, okay, all right. Happy with that. Then they can... Uh, they look like they can live in relative harmony. Uh, and then over here, these ones are all doing fine. We've got like four people coming to see them. That's it. Honestly, dinosaurs just aren't a bigger deal as they used to be, are they? Imply, uh, apply the inventory space upgrades to a fossil center. Okay. Um, upgrades. Inventory space. How do we do that? Chemically stabilized storage allows one extra fossil or mineral to be kept across all island sites. Research required. See, research is one thing we keep forgetting to do. Um... I think we, it's one of those things that we don't always need to have on the go. Uh, this is the research one, isn't it? Okay, so view research. Here we go. Right, um, building upgrades. Here we go. So we wanted the uh, fossil. There we go. Inventory space. Right. So you're going to do that. Um, I would also... What are these? Intensive repair. That's what you can actually do to the, high, the dinos. Not too worried about those just yet. Um, medical treatment. We can currently cure the common cold, hookworm parasite. Um, we do not have enough available research teams. Oh, okay, so literally we can do one at a time. That's fine. All right, well, we'll, we'll get that done for the mission. And then we just need to up our dinosaur rating. So let's have a look at the fossils we've just found. Oh, yes. So first of all, we'll flog that. 120 grand for that bit of rock. Edmontosaurus, extract. Extract. There we go. So that should mean we could make an Edmontosaurus now, which would be good. And that should hopefully get our dinosaur rating to 1.5. Let's have a look. Uh, our facility rating's off the chart, look. Uh, well, not, well, not off the chart. Three and a half. Uh, okay satisfaction. So, dinosaur visibility is pretty good. Food and drink rating's pretty low. Fun rating's 38. Shopping rating, transport rating. So we need some food and drink. Okay, we can do it. Um, guests. Uh, fast food. Clothes shop. Um, the bar, everything else isn't available. So we've got um, fast food. Oh, I know why we haven't got fast food. I got rid of it. I wanted to build it here so it's facing the right way so we can continue with our main streety type build. So let's put it there. There we go. So that will increase that a little bit. We can there do it in Montessori. So let's do that. There we go. Um, okay, skin basic, there we go, da, 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 da. incubate, 170,000, now I'm pretty sure these are kind of like elephants, you know, big things just wander around, do their thing, um, so uh, they could go into the herbivore place and be pretty happy, there we go, people can come over here and see what they want to see, I want to see what the people looking at do, yeah, they literally are just kind of standing around. Okay, that's fine. I mean, oh. Oh, that's cool. There's a little announcement saying the fast food restaurant's open. So this was originally called Dino Bites. Let's call it Dino Bites again. Dino Bites. Um, and you are going to sell Dino Bites, but you're going to sell them for six, $6 because it's a theme park. Hell, you know, that's how it works. Things are expensive. Everything else, are we making money? Gift shop, you sell lunch boxes. No, you sell Barbasol. Oh, nice, Barbasol. That's from the first movie, isn't it? And you're going to sell that for $18. There we go. A bit decent markup. Um, let's call it... Um, uh, let's go. Oh, think of a word around dinosaurs beginning with the letter G. Uh, I can't think of one. No, oh, I really can't think of anything. Um, a gift shop trader. Oh, it says traders on the on the door of the buildings. So that's fine. We'll call it traders. 
there, look, it says traders, see? Traders. Uh, and this one doesn't say much at all. This is the uh, clothes shop, I think. Onesiesaurus, that's right, we sell onesies here. How much money do we make in the onesiesaurus? Um, 483 profit per minute, that sounds good. Go to the Hammond Creation Lab, number one. We're going to release our dinosaur, but first of all, we need to open that gate for it. There we go. And then we can release the dino. This is a new one for us. You met the objectives and secured a victory. I was expecting no Oh, look at this one. She looks like she's got a big mustache. Oh, pretty colours on the face there. Oh, look. Kind of like a standy uppy thing. Oh, what a pretty dino. I mean, a little funny looking, but quite cool. Oh, look, it runs on two legs. Edmontosaurus. I'm guessing it was Edmonton then, seeing as it was uh, in Canada, Canada, and it's called Edmontosaurus. Oh, I just oh, this whole zooming around thing is a bit funky. Let's close you, thank you. Okay, so let's just see if you're happy on your own, or oh no, you could have another one. Population you're pretty happy with, a bit more forest maybe. And another, I think another one of you would go down very well. So let us uh, hatch uh, Edmontosaurus incubate. There we go. And then also that uh, fossil thing was good to go. So let's do you. Inventory space. Buy. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. Okay, they they seem really really happy about me doing the slightest things. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting. All right, there again. Yeah, Edmontosaurus is pretty happy. A little bit more. Oh yeah, a little bit more forest, wasn't it? Let's maybe stick a few uh, trees up here then. Just kind of right round to here. Make it look a bit more a bit more natural as we uh, as we fill this in. Really interesting that they won't build up to that little bit there, is because I'm getting close to the build limit. All right. Well, that'll do. Okay. Yeah, they definitely are alright on their own look. Okay. I do worry about them fighting a bit. I do worry about them fighting a bit, especially when they start to do this. But they obviously don't fight their own, do they? Okay. Well, I'd like to put a little bit of water up here. Oh. There we go. A little bit of water on a higher up bit there like that. And then I want to smooth this out a little. Oh, that gets rid of the water. Okay. Just like that. It's just to get it, just to get them up here for little drinky poos occasionally as well. Just to keep it interesting for the people who are looking. Overall, you know what? It's nothing groundbreaking, but I feel like we're doing a pretty nice little park here. We're having no nobody get out yet. Touch wood. Um I would like to maybe clear up the water a little bit. It's a bit I find it a bit strange that there's uh, plants in the water. So I just I did that just a little to clear it out. Don't mind a little bit, you know, it looks looks quite good a little bit, but too much of it uh, I don't think looks right. Okay, so obviously we're doing really well with entertainment. We've done nothing for science, but we're doing a little bit okay for, for thingy. Now we haven't got, unless, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Okay, so let's open the gate. And... Release the dino! There we go. And hopefully she'll come out, hang out with the buddy, and nobody's getting too annoyed with population. Population, social, maybe doing another Triceratops, but population-wise, they're, they're all okay. Edmontosaurus, yeah, population. They, these all quite like lots of things hanging around. And again, that's relatively true to real life, I think. You know, herbivores, they like lots of other creatures there. It's kind of a numbers game, isn't it, really? You know, if there's 20 of you, then... Less chance of you getting eaten by something. There we go. And we'll close the gate off. Watch your tail. Watch your tail. Whoopa! It was close and you got your tail caught then. Okay. Running over. How are we doing here for food? Anything need filling up? No? 7 out of 10. That's pretty good. And this one over here? 8 out of 10. Oh yeah, you're, you're laughing, aren't you? You're doing well. So we've got nothing to do now. Let's see if we can... I'm pretty sure we can request stuff. Um... Let's have a look. We are here. We need to get to three stars before we can open the next one. So, uh, research. Let's get some research going. Um, building upgrades. Everyone upgrades. I'd like a whole new building, but there's none available. 
Genetic research, what about this? Cosmetic genes, trait genes, all the research is all relatively superfluous stuff. I'm going to go for this then, because I don't want anything, anyone getting too ill. Oh, here we go. Um, seeding in our goals is a point of pride for the security division. Check out this contract and see if you succeed in yours. Reach 200 grand a minute. It'd be nice to know what we're doing currently, but I'm going to accept it. Um, we're currently in 172 grand. Okay, so not a million miles off that, actually. Okay, so I suppose the way we do that is probably upping all of these a little for small gains. Um, fast food, clothes shop, gift shop. I think we have everything we can build, but we can do a hotel. Um, hotels increase island visitor capacity, allowing more guests to stay in the park. So, yeah, let's get one of Oh, that's pretty big. Um, let's get one of these built somewhere in a nice area. I mean, I, up here is the obvious spot for now, isn't it? I think eventually we'll try and make them a bit a bit more... Uh, yeah, it's, you know, we can't fit one there because of terrain. I mean, really, I don't want to go down there. Let's have a look at the map. I um, oh, see, we could come right down here. If we had the monorail, I'd run the monorail all the way down here if I could. And we could have like a second area here. But um, I don't think we have the monorail available, do we? Let's have a look. Operations. Um, guests, is it? Yeah, monorail station. Research required. It's not like the thing that's going to pop up on other, uh, other islands. Okay, so let's instead, let's get all these doing um okay night vision goggles you now cost 45 okay and dino bites no dino bites dino feast costs 25 okay i don't think that's actually making much difference they now earn 700 a, a minute Let's have a look at this one. Currently, you make 812 a minute. I think that's probably about as much as you can. See that? Yeah, see, there you go. You've got to try and find that magic point where they make as much as they can, which I guess is there. So we'll call it $40 then to keep it neat. That's good. It's a little mini game there to try and figure out what the, uh, what the top dollar is for stuff. Um, so in that case... I guess then more dinos is what's going to really uh, fill the money out, I suppose. We could build a little um, a little one here, I guess, a little enclosure here, and put something scary in it. So new fences available. We now have electrical fence available, so let's do that. And let's build a little, uh, a little fence here. Ooh, I don't know whether we should have it that close to the path? Probably not really. It's the first time we've built a fence in the game so we can now have a little look how it works. There we go. Space is toggling the curve which is good. Obstructed? Oh yeah because the power lines are in the way. Okay. Well let's get rid of all the power for a moment and hope it doesn't affect us too much. Shouldn't do shouldn't do. I don't think there's anything down here that's going to be a crazy problem if it doesn't have any power for a second. Okay. So, uh, enclosures. Go back to our fences. Go back to our electric fence. There we go. Um, and we'll bring you down straight. Try and follow the path here if we can. There we go. And probably straight to about there. And then curve you round. Oh, we're looking good. And then a bit more straight. In fact, we'll do all of this straight. We'll really try and follow the path here. There we go. Up to there. Nice big curve up to this bit. Now, I'm not going to put a Hammond... Uh, uh, dinosaur o matic on this. We're going to um, we're going to transport them over using the transport thing, which I know is something we can do. So 
what we will do is, in fact, let's actually just back up a little bit there. Okay, let's just back up a little bit there and we'll try that again. But this time we're going to, oh, it's gone off. Where are you? We're going to come a little bit away because what I'd like to do here, there we go, is, there we go. Really, really hard to see where <laughs> you're doing anything um with this but hopefully uh do you know what? i'm not going to go all the way down we're going to come up to we're going to go to there there we go and then we're going to delete you and we're going to delete you and have a better go at that last little bit there oh oh hello that was that's interesting um yeah there we go Okay, uh, gate. You're. Oh, there's a bit there where it was okay. Oh, am I seeing things? No, none of this is okay. This all just too close to the path, is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, well, that's good to know. I suppose then we'll stick it down here. Kind of makes sense for that little gap there, then. There we go. And then we'll get a viewing platform on it, uh, which is why I've left it away from the wall a bit there. Hopefully that would... Oh, no, that's not right. This should be the other way around, isn't it? Oh, you're the wrong way around. Viewing platform. How weird is that? Um, is there a way to rotate it? Oh uh, yeah, there, there, there. Look, it, it, it can do it, but it's just too close to the path. I think is the problem. We can go down there and see that all those trees. That's no real good, is it? Let's try that way then. Um, there we go. Any good? No. Okay, so it fits along there, but it needs to go. The the uh, the path, the the actual enclosure needs to be a bit further away from the wall there. Okay, so we can sort this out. We can sort this out. Okay, we can't. Uh, that's all done, by the way. It's a bit jank. But um, we got it to where it needs to be. I, we haven't got any other, um, uh, what's the word, uh, herbivore, uh, carnivores available on the map at the moment, unfortunately. So um, we could put more of these guys down there, I guess. But for now, we're going to leave it. And then if we come back to the island, we've got a place we can throw some, I don't know, raptors down there or something pretty easily. So unfortunately, uh, we can't do it that way to get this number back up. But what we can do is we still haven't got any of these little dudes here, Dracorexes, yet. So 44%, um, I think we could probably get some of those pretty good. So with the guys are out there at the moment trying to get some, we're going to get some more research on the go, so view research. And uh, we have new building upgrades. Okay, what's new? What's new? Um, Hammond Creation Lab, DNA screening, in dinosaur viability by 10%. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, power upgrades, that sounds good as well. Maintenance units reduce upkeep costs of upgraded power stations. Okay, ranger stations. Uh, we can have three. Okay, these all sound pretty useful. Let's go for... Um, we're not having much of a problem with success rate. I feel like power... Power is upgraded by 10%. Power ranges, again, we haven't... There's something we haven't worried about just yet. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for keeping the cost down of, of power. There we go. Keeping the cost of power down, and then as soon as... Uh, oh, they're coming back now, in fact, so when they land, let's have a look. Dino Dinos. Oh, good stuff. Look at this. We'll sell you. We'll get the Dracorex DNA, and you as well. And then hopefully we can fill out. We'll have a really good herbivore paddock. Mm. And a quick sip of drink. Um, yeah, that'll be a really good herbivore paddock. In the meantime, we need a dinosaur photo worth of five grand. So let's get our... Uh, Ranger team, and we'll go for a little drive. Oh my god, this thing um, is definitely made. Oh, sorry, buddy, this thing is definitely made for console controllers. Um, but it handles pretty well, I guess. Um, let's go through here, and oh, let's not bang. We've got to get. We've got to try and get to 
Uh, oh, hello. What are you, what's up with you? Heal? Are you not well? Um, here, buddy. I'll make you better. Shot off target. Oh, don't smash, please. Apparently, you're poorly sick, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do anything. Wait, 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 wait. Can we? Okay, come on. There we go. A dinosaur is not sick. Well, it said he was. Uh, okay, so we'll take a, see if we can take a photo of a not poorly dinosaur now. I would like to try and get them both in. That's kind of going to be the winner. But at the moment, I think they're both just sort of like circling me. <laughs> There's one. There's the other one. See if we can get them both in on a shot. No. Let's um, let's drive out their way a little. And we might as well do a bit of uh, do a bit of food and stuff while we're here. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what, guys, we'll leave you alone. I'd like to get a cool shot of a uh, Triceratops if I can. Oh, because uh, I'm break. I'm a big fan of the Triceratops. So we'll do that, and we'll see if we can get a few of them in. Look at this. There's dinos everywhere in here. Too many dinos, if anything. So we'll bring them down like that. Let's see if we can get the higher ground a little without winding them all up too much. There we go. That's going to be where we're going to get our photo from. Take a photo of you with you in the background. How's that? Look at that. Three dinos there. 5,573. One in a million. Um, multiple titles bonus. Okay. They were all just kind of standing around, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get another one there while that one's drinking. Is it still drinking? Drinking, yeah. No, look, there's, there's dinos in the background there. Oh. Okay. Station real restaurant. Oh, okay, that's going to help with our uh, income per minute. I guess while we're here, we'll we'll do this. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get a photo of these guys eating and stuff. Oh, that's good. Look at that. There we go. That was more like it. Species repetition penalty, yeah, all right, okay. We'll get it there, that was a good one, I think. And now we reach the inevitable. Uh, life begets death. Life begets death? That's the question that you got to ask yourself. Was this avoidable? Whoa, 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 yeah, why, what's happened? Who's died? Death, it's always coming. Oh, one of our little dudes Did has died, mean? look. Oh, well, what, what have you died of? That's maybe another story. Old age. Oh, well, that's, I feel sorry for it. Poor little thing. We'll just we'll turn out a new one. Uh, so we have to pick up dead ones, I believe, um, using our. Um, ah, I don't think we've built one yet. I think we have to build an ACU. Yeah, I think the ACU is the building that does this kind of stuff. Um, this is the one with the helicopters. There we go. So we'll put you there, and path-wise, hopefully we can get the path will go nicely to you. Uh, okay. Nope. Uh, let's delete this bit. Yep. Okay, and then we'll curve that again. Like that, and then there we go. Again, that's a bit wobbly, but we'll let it off. If we can do a bit of terrain there to level it, there we go. That's good. See, that all works pretty well. That all works pretty well indeed, actually. Okay, cool. Right, reach income of um, two grand a minute, two hundred grand a minute. Let's see if we can just cap that off before we finish the episode. So, where's our restaurant day? Here it is. Restaurants, new building. Let's get it on. Oh, hello. Yes. Uh, uh, lifespan straight. There we go. Remove the transport team to prevent disease. Yeah, working on it. Working on it. We didn't have a transport team, unfortunately. So, 
There we go. That's where you're going to go. All right. So once this is done, here we go. So now we can add task. Um, no. How do we do it? Pilot helicopter. No, don't want to do that either. Uh, there we go. Transport team. Transport or sell unconscious dinosaurs. Remove. Oh. Oh, it's sad. Um, but there you go. She'll be taken off and disposed of in a beautifully um, respectful manner. I'm sure. We're going to turn her into dino bites for the fast food shop. Um, okay. I say so you. Th you know what? That sounds ridiculous. But I went to a uh, crocodile uh, sanctuary once where they served you crocodile. So it happens. Uh, okay, so that's good. Restaurants, there we go. We're going to call you the uh, the big um, the big bite. Okay, the big bite sells some beautiful stuff. It sells doesn't sell Snagosaurus. It sells the Giganto steak. You're damn right. And it sells it for forty. Sells it for thirty nine. Sells it for. $40, there we go. I mean, it's a, it is a good stake, you know. It is a good stake. So that's, so hopefully we'll bump that up a little bit. I don't, I don't think it, it doesn't, I don't think it does much, to be honest with you. I don't think it does much. Can we kind of have a better go at that? I don't, it, that's going to really annoy me, but I don't think we have the ability to, uh, to really change what we've done there, unfortunately. So we'll have to live with it for now. An advanced move tool would be nice. Okay, cool. Right, doesn't look like we're going to hit this in this episode. We'll have to leave it there. I'll we'll try in episode number three. Uh, although we do have a dino to release. So let's just finish off with replacing uh, very... I mean, obviously we're very sad about the loss of a dinosaur. Um, but we're just going to replace her. That's that's kind of how it works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy trapped, uh, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.